Okay, so I'm going to do a live video right now, and basically we are going to continue with our color wheel here. Um, my palette's a little dirty, but I have some open spots. I'm going to grab several globs of yellow so that I can make a true green in a separate couplet here, wiping off the excess um, paint on my brush. I'm going to put one little dot of blue in there and mix and try to make a true green. Sometimes you need to add more than one dot. Just because I know this paint is fairly transparent and it comes off lighter, I'm going to add one more baby dot into that color. You know what, I still want it greener than that. I'm going to do another baby dot. I'd rather you do a little at a time, continue to add, than have it too dark. Um, I want it even darker than that, like so, very, very green. So I'm going to match it up with this true green. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint the green square on the intensity chart. We are going to be mixing um, complementary colors, and instead of using black into the original hue, we're going to use its complementary color in and see what colors we can create. So now that I've gone ahead and painted my green, I'm going to ask your table partner who has a clean paintbrush to add red to another couplet since your paintbrush is contaminated. So now your neighbor, your table partner is going to add with their fresh paintbrush some red into another couplet, about four globs. And since I'm scraping off the excess here, my brush already has so much paint on it, I'm going to go ahead and paint that red square on the other end. That way we're not having to wash our brushes over and over right now because there's two paint brushes available to us. Smarter, not harder. And now I've done the parameter, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the middle. We don't want to ruin the original red because we're going to have to mix violet later, so that's why we're creating another couplet here. What is the question? Okay. I'm going to give you one more minute, and then we're going to start mixing. Theater. I think they're watching a movie. It might be a musical for all I know. I'm going to save my dirty red paintbrush for violet later. And I'm going to move on to using my dirty green paintbrush here. So, I already have a dirty green paintbrush. And I'm going to count that as my one dot of green into the red. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape that excess red off the sides, and I'm going to blend it into that red right here. It's only going to slightly dull the red. Try to scrape the sides to get it even and fold it in. And then scrape the sides of your brush so there's enough for you and your neighbor. You don't want that much paint. You only need to have paint on the very tip of your brush to make magic happen. And now I'm going to continue to paint the next square on the far left. Try to stay within the lines. Go around the parameter here. Fill in the edge. 
And I'm sure you can imagine what we're going to be doing for the rest of this value scale. For those of you that um, want to continue your blue shints and tints and shades, go ahead. As long as you understand this concept of when we made green and now we're adding one dot of green and we're continuing till we get to the pure green here. Do we all understand? Are we all on the same page? Yes, Miss Brown. Okay. So now I'm going to do another dot of green. You're probably not going to see a huge difference until it dries. I'm continuing to fold that color inward, blending it as evenly as possible so that I have enough for my table partner and myself. Wiping off the edges, the access. Now it's here, and now I'm going to continue to go around the parameter. Sorry, I can't play music today. Do you mind if I continue? I feel like we have a good handle on this. So now I'm going to do another dot into the red paint, folding it in, making sure we're getting as much of it blended as possible, wiping off the edge of your brush, otherwise it gets a little out of control. Let's save that precious paint. And now I'm going to go ahead here, continue the next square. The paint drastically changes Wait, when it dries. I know, I feel like it's being lighter, isn't that weird? Is this a it's kind of confusing. Because on the paper, it looks like, like it's being lighter. Right. It's because I think the yellow from the, the um, temperate paint when it dries, it makes it look more ashy. Oh. Temper paint is a little misleading. It dries differently. It's not a, when it looks wet, you might love the color. Then when it dries, you're like, wait a second, that's not what I wanted. So it's a frustration. But I like this paint because for beginners, it's forgiving. You can wash it off your clothes. It's not expensive. You can still understand and learn color theory without breaking the bank and ruining your clothes. Acrylic paint is much more permanent. If you get it on your clothes, you'll never get it off. And it can break a paintbrush because if you don't wash it immediately, it dries on there like and hardens like liquid plastic. Now I'm going to do another dot of the green. Adding that to the red. Mix, mix, mix. The whole purpose of putting your complementary color in is to learn that it gives it a completely different hue than with black. I don't want you to feel that you can only darken a color by using black you can darken the color by using its complementary color and that'll dull it out. It won't, it won't make it look as gray tinge. Maybe you want darker but you don't want it to be so seriously dark. So these are slightly lighter tints and shades, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to put another green dot mixing it in. These walls are paper thin, I guess. We've been obnoxious doing karaoke. I'm sure they've been rolling their eyes. It's about time they get even. I think they're doing it on purpose because of karaoke Friday. I kind of like it. Thank you. 
They all look the same, don't they? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand why. Does yours all look the same? Yeah. Or like some of them are going from like light dark. Yeah. Like it's weird. We'll wait till it dries. At least we tried. I think it's this paint. This paint's well. Yeah, I thought I was about to get in trouble for doing it. But you, are you least impressed that it changes the red to a different yes. value? Yeah. All right, then it wasn't in vain. I've done this before and it didn't look like this, so I don't know why. Is it because I didn't make the green dark enough? Maybe it's because of the yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes we experiment and it doesn't quite work out. But I think you're learning how to mix, so that that's good. We do what we can. All right, while you guys finish, I'm going to get some a cup of water for myself. What's going on, Mahela? Mahela. People are abandoning paintbrushes. I was saying. Does the red look different from the shades and tints sure. warm up that we did? Yeah? yeah. yeah. Better than nothing. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to. Because I already have a dirty red paintbrush, I'm going to make violet. This is dried out. I'm just going to glop the red over here. And how do we make violet? Do you remember? Wipe off the excess. One dot of blue to make violet. Is that violet enough? I'm going to try another dot of blue to make it a little bit more violet -y. One more dot. Am I going too fast? Yeah, I'm going too fast? You're still on red. We've made violet before on the color wheel. Think about that. It's just red adding blue so I'm going to go ahead and start painting violet here I'll post the video if you want to watch it if you're behind don't worry I'd rather be ahead of you than behind you you all understand that you paint whatever color is in the two ends and then you add one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot. It's pretty much consistent throughout this worksheet. So this violet looks completely different than the red with the green. The red with the green, those colors look like more brick colors and the violet looks more plummy. So it all depends on what kind of colors you want to create. And this becomes really handy when we're trying to do photorealism, when you paint something realistic colors. You might need a plum, you might need a brick. And now you'll know how to do it because you'll have these color charts to refer to. You'll be like, ooh, I really want that color. How did I make that color? Oh, it's red with three dots of green. That's how I make that color. And so this is your little reference sheet to create colors. We're going to make a brown.
All I'm doing on this side is painting in the yellow. I'm not. I'm going to hold off for a little bit to do the rest because I know everyone's trying to catch up. I'm just going to do the obvious ones where it says red, I painted red. Where it says green, I painted green. Where it says yellow, I painted yellow. Where it says violet, I painted violet. The basics. I feel more confident because I know you all have worked on the color wheel and you know how to mix those colors of the rainbow. Primaries and secondaries. So all of the secondaries are on the right hand side and all the primaries are on the left hand side. All of my videos you can pause if I'm going too fast and fast forward. So once we finish this worksheet, you will have my um, blessing to work on your art project, but I must see your reference image or have a discussion with you about it. Nobody gets to start their project without me looking at the subject that you're going to do so I can give you advice. If you printed it out, you can put it in the tray. Uh, up in the front where it says period five so I can call on all of you. I need to start grading everything that you have if you haven't noticed in the back. Maria's been taking down all your coyotes so that you can have those back and some of you I might even ask if I can borrow it or keep it for a while to put on display or take pictures of as a reference. I always like to you know have your examples. Um, also, some of you are asking if you could have your self-portraits. Yes, you can have your self-portraits. Same thing. I'll be returning those back to you. And um, some of you I might ask to keep it or borrow it for a while if you don't mind. And so I'll go around the room. You'll have your coyote. You'll have your portrait and your pen and ink. And then I'm going to go around and give you grades for the report card and post those. Yes, you did them. You turned them in. All that jazz. Do you mind if I continue my video? No? Okay. So, next step, I'm almost out of yellow, so I'm going to contaminate it with my violet, and that'll be my first dot. Luckily, you and a partner have multiple brushes. Ew, that's ugly. It looks like a beige It's You know what this would be great for? <laughs> Wipe off the excess. This ugly yellow brown would look fabulous with a little white later on when we do skin tones. Hey. And wipe off the excess. Precious nectar. It's a nice goldeny brown. It's not like orange. If you see my orange right here, they are very different. What other um, subjects have this color? Do you 
be Goldilocks hair, money, like gold coins might have this yellowy brown color, tan, a very tan orange Donald Trump. <laughs> Somebody's listening. All right, now I'm going to add another dot of violet to this. I'm going to scrape the excess, try to stir it. Huh? Wipe off the excess. Not my favorite color, I'm not going to lie. It's like a burnt orange. That's probably what I would call these. They're like pumpkin. Pumpkin? Huh? What? I'm just hungry, I guess. You can really see the difference with the yellow and the violet. The red one, not so much. Completely different than the value range of yellow on its own with white and black. And now I'm going to do another dot of violet into there. Scrape off the excess. Try to stir it evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint this one. It's a little bit richer. This is definitely becoming part of the brown family. Like the color or your last name? The color. It looks like bread. Hello, Mrs. Brown speaking. Hi there. Yes. Mahela. Mahela. Okay, I'm going to give her her pass and send her back. Okay, sorry about that. Another dot of violet, folding it back into my paint. I'm running out of paint here. I should have more yellow to begin with. I think I have enough to survive this. I want to make sure I mark you here. Okay, you weren't marked absolutely good. Yeah, go ahead and go back. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint this following square with my additional dot. Ms. Brown? Yes, I'm. If we're already like running out of yellow, do we have to put it in a separate cup or can we just contaminate it? You could do a separate couplet, but you're going to have to put the right amount of dots of violet into it. I'm almost running out as well. Can you make it stretch or what? That means you didn't start off with four globs of yellow. No, you can't make it stretch? Then just do another yellow couplet and add the appropriate amount of dots and hopefully it's darker than your last one. You kind of eyeball it and tell. Good question. It happens. Don't worry. You do the best you can here. I'm running out of paint as well. So I've noticed it's becoming much richer because I have less yellow in it like it should be anyways. And now I'm going to do another dot. Folding it in. That's why you have to be really mindful of doing four globs, wiping off the excess and folding that in. This is good practice. You guys are going to be painting masters after this is all said and done. Trying to stay within the lines, making it nice, neat, and crisp. If yours are not nice, neat, and crisp, you will be losing an awful lot of points because I've emphasized high craftsmanship and staying within the lines as best as possible. I could tell somebody is slopping it together. 
compared to somebody that's rushing through, you know, and somebody that's really taking their time and paying attention to detail, it matters. And I will grade accordingly. And now I'm going ahead here, finishing the final square. That range turned out pretty nice. This one compared to this one. These are very useful colors for your art projects. I like it. Is it alright if I move on to blue and orange? How do you feel about that? I don't want to rush. You put one dot orange into the blue. You mix yes. And you put it in and you put so I'm going to do one dot of blue into my orange. Ooh, I don't have enough orange here. I need to go get some more yellow. I'll do it right here. Ooh, that's ugly. Looks like iguana green wiping off the excess. Not my favorite color. Yes, it's right up in the front. Be careful not to shake it without the lid nice and tight, and be careful that you're not giving yourself too much paint. Don't squeeze too hard. Wow, this looks in. Did I do this right? One dot of orange to blue. I should have started from the right side on this one. Don't do what I did here. Ah! Oh. You're going to start on the right side. Okay. Yeah, you're going to go backwards on this one. How come you go backwards and not? Because you want it to be as blue over here. You want it to look like a full value range. So this one, you're going to start from the right. Do not do this one. This one's a no-no. Start on the right side. Everybody stop what you're doing and look at what mistake I did. So I got orange and I put one dot of blue in it and I accidentally painted it right here. But this one is flipped. You are going to put one dot of blue and put it on the orange side. We want it to look like a true value range. So that one's flipped. And the reason they flipped it is because they wanted the primaries on one side and the secondaries on this side so it looks cool and we can talk about it. But yeah, this last one you must flip. Right, so you're going to be working right to left. Are we all clear on that one? What side are you going to start your orange with one dot of blue? Thank you. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a dot, and I'm going to continue on the right side, not the left. This is a tricky one. Folding in, blending as much as possible. That's why I don't want you to jump ahead. I'd rather I make the mistakes than you. Then I'm going to add another blue dot, mixing it in, folding it, getting all the paint on the edges. Wiping off the excess. If we don't finish today, 
that's okay. I'd rather you do this nice and clean. Don't forget that homework of yours. We're, there's going to be plenty of you that are going to be done by tomorrow and want to start your project, and I need to approve it. Bring in whatever it is that you want as your subject matter. Remember, we're doing it six inches by nine inches. Some of you might want to do it eight by 10 or nine by 12, and we can talk about that. Gosh, this one looks the same like the reds. Now I'm going to do another blue dot. Now it's finally starting to change color. This one's kind of a pretty color. I feel like these green tones that are coming out are great for hay, grass, iguanas, lizards, dinosaurs. These are some really nice colors. Now I'm going to do another blue dot. Holding it in. scales on a reptile I could definitely see these kinds of colors beautiful green or hazily eyes dragons for sure oh my god I went outside Army, military kind of tones. Now I'm going to do another dot, folding it in. So this is affecting the intensity of your color. Can I hear everyone say the word intensity? intensity. So it's doling it down. So it's less intense. It's not as bright. Mm -hmm. This is a great uh, watermelon wine color. Because the watermelon doesn't look bright green. It's a duller green. Or a cucumber or a broccoli. I'm going to do another dot, folding it in. We're doing so many color options here for you. It's really nice. Something else I wanted to mention. When Sarah was saying, oh, we ran out of this color. You will never mix the same color identical ever. Maybe Ms. Serrano disagrees with me, but it's pretty challenging to make the same color twice. So when you do your paint project, make sure you make enough of that paint because if you run out, you're toast. You'll never be able to make the same color identical again. Sometimes I even have little couplets or saran wrap so that you can save it, but try to use that color up within the 47, 52 minutes, whatever it is that we have so that um, you don't cry to me later that you want a color that you cannot make again. It's just the way it goes. Unless we have it straight out of the tube that you can continue to, to use, you won't get that same color twice. Does that make sense? Because we're not measuring it. When you go to like Home Depot and you get a color made, they have exact measurements that they're blending colors together. We don't. We're winging it here with just glops and dots. You do the best you can. Okay, I have a decent range there. I'm pretty happy with that. Sarah, my reds do look different. It's just very, I know. So what are you saying? I should have flipped those colors too? I'm confused. 
No. Okay. There is a range here. It's just a very mild range. It's because the green is not as powerful as that red, I guess. It's more transparent. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, the paint that we're using right now is not the best. It is what it is. I I can't even return it. It was just easier for us to use it for our practice ones than to throw it away. I don't want anything to go to waste. Yeah. So when you are finished, clean the mixed couplets that we made. Keep the primary colors. Keep black. Keep white. I don't want to see um, messy palettes. You will not be dismissed if you have messy palettes. Did the 10 minute bell ring already? Ooh, we got to get a move on. I just wanted to finish my video. Huh? All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Yay, lunchtime. Hungry. Man, I'm tired. You can tell the energy level from yesterday to today. Today's hope day. I'm going to be very, like, silent tomorrow. Why? Because you're tired. No, because tomorrow's, like, a game where it's, like, if we win, we get 30 seconds. <laughs> So pretty, you know how to do it? And then a little bit like transparent. Not a ring, it's transparent. Did you flip it correctly? I think that's uh
Maria.
Well, I mean, he is cold blooded, so. Okay, yeah, there's like five of you for our phone. I didn't hear it. We have a new one over there. Girl, yeah, he's been in the same place. No, Sheila. I know, I forgot what happened before, that's why I didn't get it. I was just saying, I lost a little bit. Is she? Oh, okay. We're going to wait a few more minutes to see if. It's crooked right here. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. It's crooked. Yes, I need to like yourself. Would you get a tater tot? You can have a tater tot. You came to the meeting, you can have a tater tot. I have a tater tot with you. They don't want your tater tots. <laughs> well, I like my Hey, are you two your fur club? Why do you all just eat this can? Why do you all eat this are you guys here for art club? See, Camilla, well, I told you they're here for art club. You're here for art club. I am here for art club. Yes, Bella. you are. <laughs> okay. I want to do this. How did I start it? Wire and tinfoil. I'm being serious. If I squish it, will it get dented? Yes, it will because it's tinfoil. <laughs> no, I glued it today, and you know this. Physics? <laughs> is it showing? Is it showing up on the screen? I can't tell. No. Hello? Did you get my study guide? Yes. Thank you. Close your phone. You are the reason I'm passing English. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, is Ashley here? Doesn't Ashley have this class fifth period? She does, so she doesn't have this piece of music. Is she here? Ashley, are you here? I don't think she's here. Amy, are you part of our club? Yes, ma'am. See, y'all, that's like 30 people. Okay, can you start with?
So what? If I don't know, I can't get you in trouble. Just think about that. Okay? That's like my motto for everything. If I don't know, I can't get you in trouble. I know, be like, I don't know. I mean, I saw her like somewhere. Thank you. I swear to God, we'll start in like two. What do you want to put your name? Oh, I did look at Pablo. No, just name, um, yes or no. Name, ID, yes or no. Two tests. Did you start reading or something? How long was moving in our class? Okay, guys, Renee. Yeah. Sorry, Liz. Is that the Okay, I start. Okay, in a couple of minutes, Renee is going to have the sign sheet ready. I know there's only like eight of you, but please sign. Short or long ready? Short. No, 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 no. How does she call them out for confessing? So, do you guys know that Food Fest is this Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we still need volunteers. If y'all could help out, that would be really great because Cabinet has to do it. But unfortunately, that's only like, what, five of us? Maybe. I'm going to make Ashley do it after. <laughs> Alright, nothing is hard. It's like, every time I breathe in here, it's really awkward. I would. That's kind of cool. I feel like a dragon. <laughs> okay, but y'all, the point is that we really do need volunteers. So if you guys could sign up, that'd be great. You're going to get called out at this period. We well, don't get called. They send out a sheet, like an email to the teachers to call you guys out early. And so you got to leave, leave your fifth period early. So if you don't like your fifth period, that's a plus. <laughs> and um, this time, yeah, just pass it around. This time it'll be a lot more organized. The last time we didn't do it because we weren't very organized. And then the first time, nay. The first time, I know a lot of you guys, the, I call them islands, the people that were just in the middle of the quad, I know that that really sucked for you guys and you guys didn't have an opportunity because, well, I honestly didn't know. I just know that that sucked and we will fix it this time, I swear. And you guys will get more food time. Food time? Yes. Okay. But that was basically it. So, you still get hours, still need volunteers, donuts are still a dollar, and it's still a Friday. It should be a dollar for two hours. Oh, I'll grab a dude. I know, dude, you only do, you only do like 20 minutes and you get a full hour, so. Yeah. Okay. So, raise your hand if you think you're going to do it. Well, we kind of have to know for sure, but okay. So, three volunteers. Four, thank you. Just kidding. Four. <gasps> volunteers, for sure. That's good. Thank oh, you. Wait, wait. I need to do that. Yeah, okay. So, but the point is that during, so Friday during 5th, you're going to come straight to the art room, and we're going to give you, like, 10, 15 minutes before. You decide, like, if that class, like, she just will not let you leave until the 10-minute bell. I know some teachers are like that, didn't come at the 10-minute bell. If they let you leave 15 minutes early, even better. So you're going to come here. We're going to hopefully have the table set. So you just put on your little apron. And I think some of them uh, get aprons. I don't remember. So. I was goofy. Thank you. You can go. You know that right now. You guys are going to get your hats and you're going to get your stations. And yeah, I'm going to go ask Ms. Brown really quick how we're going to set you guys up. But that's basically. Do any of you guys have any questions before I go ask her how to split you guys up? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back.
this.
can leave. They didn't even say bye. They just left. Like the rest of my family. Okay, you can't do that. You're not my family, my friend. You're supposed to say bye to me. No words are said. Thank you. Tissues. Um, Anywhere in this room or in the vicinity of the Miss Brown is very picky about her tissues. If they're not out, then honestly, your best choice is paper towels. Okay. Really? I have tissues all over the room. Oh, I have tissues. Oh, that's a box. Are you, oh, that's, are you the person that walked into zero with a box of tissues? Oh. My God. I mean, it works out, but still. Yeah. Oh, hello, guys. I'm trying to not put it. Is me in your shirt? 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 Yeah. Oh, shoot. Is it your father? Is it your father? Is it your father? Cucumbers are actually. Wow. <laughs> 
I meant to say the zucchini, but then I realized no. <laughs> Halfway through my sentence, and it's too late because I already said cucumbers are. <laughs>
Alexis is not here. Leslie is not here. Ashley Smith is not here. Ashley is absent. Marion. Marion is absent. <coughs> Giselle's tardy. Z, are you here? All right. Jeremiah, we missed you today during Howell. I was here. You didn't say hello. Adina, were you there? Okay. So, I have a video. It's not perfection. Let's see if I can get it open here. And I believe it's where we left off. And then some. So let's see where we're at on that. Oh. Uh, uh. 
That's way ahead of you. Way too far. Okay. Some of you may have noticed that. Go ahead and get what you need when you get started. This color right here looks a little bit Lay those out, Tommy, so everybody can read them. Huh? I don't have it one. Okay, go get it. Right there. All of the worksheets are on the front counter, people. Ladies, you're not listening. Yeah, we do yesterday. 
Are we ready to begin? Yes. No. Oh, okay, all the videos are posted on Google Classroom, but I'm going to continue this one. The red tips, um, and just remember that it's four scoops um, of white uh, followed by a tiny little drop of red, and then you add one more drop Entire square uh, full of this. All right. There is so no right here is where we left off. To the red. Okay. Two. So you're putting a bunch of globs into an additional four. couplet of red. And let me go ahead and remove all the excess from my brush as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put um, one uh, drop of the black into the red mix to create this very nice uh, reddish color. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in um, my square. Uh, remember to go ahead and always Are you watching do my video that from the beginning? border okay. that we talked about when we were doing So you're going to start meal, white and yellow. Uh, nice and neat. And take your time with this. There is no rush. Everyone works at different speeds. And just be sure to fill in the box completely. And as you can see, there is already a subtle difference between um, the pure red and this new shade that we just created. And just like we did with the other colors, we're going to go ahead and do one more um, drop of the black and let me see if I could get this to really uh, make a difference. There we are. Good. Make sure I'm mixing enough for myself and my partner. And same manner, I'm just gonna go ahead and create that little border. And I think my brush might actually have too much paint, so I'm going to just go ahead and take some of the excess off. And you just try to create that little inner border. Watch your language. I'm tired of it. And you kind of get the picture, another uh, drop of the black into the mix to create a slightly darker shade. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of my X's and do my little inner border. And one more drop. Okay. Oh, there you can see a really nice gradient. I don't want to hear you guys talking. And this will be important uh, for your projects. 
because we want a full value range for every single one of your projects. So for your monochromatic project, just make sure that you're able to do this, that you're able to have those highlights and those dark values into your project, and make sure that you know when you are thinking about what to do for um, your complementary color, that you are thinking, oh, you know what, we did this full value and intensity um, range. Um, I want to go ahead and apply what I've learned into a project. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our blues. I'm going to go ahead and move my palette around here. And I want to go ahead and just start by filling in um, this entire square blue. So you kind of know the drill at this point. Begin by making your little border. Try your best um, with the brush. I know that some of these are a little more or used or damaged from time, but it'll work for this. And just go ahead and fill it in completely. You can always come back once it dries into a second layer just so you can get that really nice and intense blue. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush and dry it just because I'm going to be uh, putting some white into this little niche over here. And remember that we want um, four or five scoops. So here's one, two, three, I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. I don't want to contaminate. The way it's spelled, it looks like Teresa. And I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny, barely even seen it. See it? Tiny little drop. Can you see that? Really? And just mix it. <laughs> so it looks like a very nice pastel blue tint. And all of you should know what the tint is. So there we go. My little outline. Wherever he wants, I don't care. It's his birthday. But he's gonna be like, hmm. Like, no. This color could probably be a little bit lighter, but I think this is fine. I can't eat any of that. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. So nice having this work. Okay. Makes life so much easier. And then we want another. You can probably see this a lot better now. Like the white is covering the brush. Another little drop of blue in there. Why? Because y'all always call Teresa. I say we blame her parents. Once again, I want to remind you that both you and your Why partner it after, after should be um, I do over mixing. Like you should be taking turns. And you know what? I think I'm going to go a little bit darker on this color just because I want to see more of a difference. So let me go ahead and add a little bit more. There we go. If you want me to pause her or anything like that, let me know. Uh, <laughs> She's going too fast. Yes. Yeah. 
Different shades. 
Where's your Chromebook? Get it out. Watch the video from the beginning. And watch the book. You weren't here. You gotta watch it from the beginning. Hey, Raymond, you're actually ready. Why would you do these things? Look, it's even tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Five and two year old things. She's ahead of you. Oh, never mind. All right, let's start the video now. Oh, So it's always good to just start with a little bit of paint and work your way up so that you can make those types of decisions. When you're painting, you know what? It can be a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more paint. And another little drop of blue into the fix. <coughs> Once again, again with the border, and I'm really happy with the way this tint came out. I can see a real difference between here to here, and that's what we want to see, a nice, clear difference. If you're looking at your tints and, you know, they're starting to look a little similar, maybe you need to go in and add um, half a drop more. Okay, and another little drop. <coughs> and I think I made just enough paint <laughs> for one more, so that's good. One of the things that I've seen in some of the classes is that uh, some of you are not mixing enough paint. And that's just more work because then you have to go in again and try to achieve the same color. So just make sure that you are mixing enough paint. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the blue shades. So similar to what we did over here with the reds, um, I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and five scoops of that really nice blue. And I'm going to go ahead and add one little tiny drop of black into the blue and Miss Brown just walked in. Good morning, Miss Brown. Good morning. So we have this really nice shade going right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my outline. And I really love navy colors.
For a while, I didn't want to wear any navy just because I worked in retail and that was the color that we had to wear. But I haven't worked in retail in a while and I'm starting to wear a lot more navy now. So I really like all of these colors. Okay, so you can see a really nice difference here between the pure blue and the shade. And next up, you guessed it, let's go ahead and add another little drop of black in here. And I know it's hard to see that the blue is making any difference because it looks really dark, but it is making a difference. So once again, I'm just going to start with a little border. And you kind of get the idea. I kind of find this to be a little bit relaxing. Does anybody else agree with that? Yes, no. And another little drop of black into my navy mix. Let me see. Hope this one has a nice <laughs> subtle difference. And I think it does. It does. <laughs> And another drop of black. So the paint looks almost black in here when I'm mixing it, but I can still see that nice blue in there. that are a lot faster. I'm pretty sure you've already jumped to the next section of intensity. Um, similar to what we were doing, except that we are not using um, white or black to create any of those colors. So let me go ahead and move things up a little so you can see. So what I want to do first is go ahead and create a green because you're going to need a green drop for all of these so you need enough green for you and um, your partner so let's not be stingy with the paint and let's um, go ahead and put a generous amount of um, yellow in here and remember we want to start with yellow um, because we don't want to uh, contaminate our paint and blue is a very intense color so we want to go ahead and suddenly get our green. Okay, so that's one drop in there. Two, three, four. Go ahead and X's. Wash my brush. Absolutely. Thank you. 
You just get here? I called your name over and over and marked you absent. You have to let me see you when I call your name. If I don't see you, I mark you absent or tardy. How come you weren't here at the art club meeting? How come you don't know these things? It sounds like you're ready for the next step. You guys told me to pause it. And I want to create a nice. All right, I made my own video for the rest of this, so. Oh, I thought you'd like her more than me. Is it really recording right now? Oh, Lord. What? She sounds more professional. I sound all rowdy and crazy. Oh, it's just the fast thing. Okay. If that well, I mean, I could have. You could have told me to pause more often. Why is this? I don't know if this is me, so let's find out. Is that me? And I know what it looks like. Um, if you want to get that really yeah. nice, intense um, red, ah. we can always go ahead. And Not me. <laughs> oh, do I not have a video? Hello, hello. What do you mean? What did I do? Mom, 